Hello and welcome to an update on the building of the Flare SE5A. As you can see, I've pushed on really hard to get the upper wings to this stage of completion, which is basically glued together, dihedrals uh, set, um, but it hasn't been sanded in any way or form. I've made a couple of changes to the basic uh, plan idea and I'll be making a few more and that's what this video is about. So, as you can see quite prominently, the small ribs or riblets have been added and I think once the wings cover that will greatly enhance the appearance of this model because they will show through. Uh, the other thing that I've done is um, in terms of attaching to the struts, these are going to be uh, bolted on rather than screwed on as described in the plan. I just didn't think that was logical. Uh, although this model won't uh, be getting stripped down for every flight, it'll be put together and left together, it will fit in the car quite easily I feel. Um, I still felt that it's just asking too much for um, four retaining screws to hold this wing on. So I've gone with M3 bolts and captive nuts which have been dug into the hardwood, which actually it's lime wood, uh, and I've also epoxied them for security. I'm now going to go on the next few days um, I'm going to change the design somewhat in that this whole centre section will be sheeted and there are a couple of reasons for that obviously strength is one but the main one is appearance the, this area here the front part portion of the wing held an auxiliary tank and I want to actually model that with all the relevant detail and riveting uh, and pipe work which fed into the main tank and um, because it's the center of the model I think it'll it'll draw your eye to it the other thing that I'm going to do is obviously mount this Lewis gun which started the whole procedure when I sat and made this out of the scrap box um, it's mounted on the upper wing and it has um, a ratchet mechanism that allowed the pilot to pull it down in fact some of the British areases used to attack the hun by firing underneath from underneath like uh, in this manner but it needs a solid base to fit to and the 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 rack mechanism had a pillar here and a pillar here here actually so that'll be floating in fresh air if i stick to the design as it is here so this front this at least the upper surface will be sheeted I'm rather pleased with it. I'm, I'm a little bit fatigued from building wings now, but it is a biplane, so next week we'll start all over again. But there's the update for now. I hope everybody has, if not flying, fun with uh, the building boards. Until later, bye for now.